What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Are You Serious? <laughs> I'm an American woman that lived in the Middle East for a couple of years. I um, lived in North Africa. There are some differences between the Gulf countries and North Africa and the rest of the Middle East. However, the culture as a whole is the same. So today we're going to take a look at dinner with Salah's family date at a Lebanese slash Syrian restaurant in Kuwait. I'm actually going to play this a little bit slower. It is in 4K, by the way. I'm going to play this a little bit slower because she flies past a lot of things that of course don't mean anything to her and probably don't mean anything to anyone. But I want to see the details because that's where I catch stuff. So I'll mute it because it's just that vlogger music, you know? Yeah, so this, so you can see up here, 21 degrees. This is very common for things written in English to be um, misspelled because um, it's an entirely different alphabet. So everything that's translated into English is almost, it's going to be approximate. So most of the time when they're translating into English, it's going to be like the most what it sounds like the most and not so much how it is correctly spelled in English. So this is at um, Al Salam Mall, which she showed the sign outside. Food court restaurants, health clubs, food court, shop stores. Shop. So I know that in Kuwait, there's not a lot to do and it's shopping and eating for the most part, which is why it did gain a reputation for being one of the uh, most obese countries. And I think um, Chantal was happy about that because she thought she would be in, in company with other uh, super obese people. And she found that that is not the case. You know, obese is one thing. You know, she's in another category altogether. So let's see. So basement, ground floor, main first floor, second floor, third floor. This is common. It might even be like this in the UK too. But you know, in the States, you know, basement, first floor, second floor. So you can see ground floor to in the US is the first floor. This doesn't matter for this video, I'm sure, but I'm just like, like giving you a few little tidbits, you know, just, it just helps us to watch out for inconsistencies, really. So you can see also the way that this sign was constructed um, and how it was hung on the wall. Now, this is actual stone here, okay? But you have like some of these pegs that are missing. This is an older mall. This is an old mall. And you can see that they actually crun uh, they crunched <laughs> the, uh, the stone itself and it hasn't been fixed. So I'm, I haven't watched this whole video. I don't know if she's trying to claim this is some like upscale mall. I can tell it's not already. And there is a grocery store on the basement level of this mall. Now, if this was truly an upscale restaurant, like I think they were trying to say, he would not be wearing jeans. I'll tell you one thing. Arabs know how to dress up, especially in Kuwait, especially, especially. So this isn't, if they're trying to make it sound like this was some fancy place, it's, it wasn't. I can tell just by how he's dressed. But I mean, look how he dressed for his own wedding. So can he see his own reflection? Is that why he's like, yeah. <laughs> I guess I should listen to this, huh? All right, what's he saying? What's he saying? All right, Salah, what's going on? He's like, look at me, I'm a handsome devil. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi guys. Oops, <laughs> hi guys. That sounds even worse at half speed. All right. Hello. Today is a family day, so we're gonna go to a luxury Syrian Lebanese restaurant, inshallah. All right, so we're going to the third floor. Because the ground floor was in white, so I'm assuming they entered on the ground floor. Again, could mean nothing. It might mean something later on. This is why you have me. 
I'll keep track of all those details. You don't have to. I will. All right. So it's a sliding door. Um, and I can't read this, but I this should be Caesar Restaurant. And it might say that up there. I can't really see it. But I believe this is Caesar. Oh, Shorfa. A Shorfa. Oh. Because this is, this first letter is an A, or an A, ah, you know. Maybe it's not Caesar. Hmm. Al Shorfa. Let's see. Al Shorfa. Restaurant. Kuwait. No problem. We are adaptable. All right. Yep, and it is on the third floor. I'm just I'll just show you what I'm looking at here. Okay. And so you can see here, this was taken last month, this photograph. You can see here that um, these women's faces are, um, aren't shown for their privacy. No oh, video, damn. Yeah, this is all very typical food. It's all very typical. And like, it looks good, right? And you're like, oh, wow, that's a pretty good spread. But every single restaurant that you go to has the same exact thing. And it's very rare to find any kind of variety. Okay, so we have vine leaves. This is like a mixed grill. This is shish tobuk. This is just chicken. This looks like a lamb chop. Um, a potato. <laughs> Bread. A slice of lemon. That's how you know it's a publicity photo, right? Um, can't tell some mushrooms, probably. Chicken. Just some chicken on a bunch of rice. I think this is Saudi Arabian. It has nuts in it and stuff. And vine leaves just have like rice in them. That's all. This is like a mint sauce. That looks good. A salad. Like it almost looks like a um a cob salad. Red kidney beans, probably some not feta, but some like some kind of cheese. Uh, avocado. Avocados were really tough in Egypt because um, they didn't know how to use them. So <laughs> any avocado you would get at a restaurant would be rock hard. Like they would try to slice a rock hard avocado and serve it to you. Like they didn't know how to ripen it or that it needed to be ripe. Yeah. So, all right. Oh, well, there's the um, Instagram for the restaurant that the family date took place. Okay. Okay. And if you would like, I do have the menu for Al Shorfa with all the prices and everything. So we can tally up what they ordered. <laughs> Super creepy and slower speed. Yeah, he's got his sleeves rolled up, jeans. Here's the manager coming to, and the manager probably came out to seat them because she's obviously not Kuwaiti. Or Middle Eastern. And sometimes when you're um, a foreigner, when you're from the Western world, <laughs> um, they assume that, you know, you have money and that you might be a tourist. He might be telling people that he's like a tour guide for her. And, um, but th that's why the manager came out like, oh, this, okay, clearly a white Westerner you know, for a couple of different reasons. And uh, maybe, and you know, maybe they think she's gonna drop a, a pretty penny at this uh, luncheon, but let's see, let's see. A very purposeful walk. He's like, mm-hmm. All right, so an electronic menu. 
That's good for COVID, as long as they wipe it down. Mixed grills. <laughs> it just gets so boring after a while. I know it looks really good, and it is good, but it's like every single restaurant you go to. Main dish. Okay. Uh, pasta. All right. Okay. What else you got, foodie beauty? Let's get to the foodie part, shall we? Lenovo. Music. We didn't want to check it. Oh, you couldn't record because of the music? Mm hmm. Let's see. So in the restaurant, they were playing copyright music. We didn't want to take a chance. So I will voice over for this portion. Awesome. Here's the electronic menu. Just a variety of delicious looking Middle East. It's supposed to be foodie beauty. Why are you flipping through the menu so fast? My gosh. Your audience shouldn't have to slow it down to look at the menu. You just. I thought it was a foodie channel. The variety. I'm, I'm curious in how they name these categories of pizza, burger, sandwiches, delicious looking Middle East, desserts, juices, cold drinks. Dishes. I noticed that she keeps saying Middle Eastern food. <laughs> so we had some Middle Eastern food. You're in the Middle East, Chantal. Of course, it's all Middle Eastern. Even the stuff that they say isn't, it still is. So, you know. It's picture like a tourist coming to America or Canada and being like, look at all this American food on this menu. <laughs> like, yeah, it all is. Everything you eat here will be American. <laughs> or like I, I said in one of my videos that I can't stand it when people say a traditional meal, you know, like a traditional Kuwaiti meal, a traditional Egypt meal. Can you imagine someone saying, burgers and fries this is a traditional american meal like what it just sounds dumb it sounds very touristy all right all right this first dish if you are a potato lover you would love this it's like a creamy mashed potato dish cheesy super cheesy so it has like mashed potatoes with cream and like mozzarella cheese melted on that looks like bechamel it's called uh chantal bechamel it's just a white sauce that's all it is it's just it's creamy you know it doesn't have like a ton of flavor um it doesn't taste like cheese um yeah bechamel it's just a white sauce so mashed potatoes with bechamel sauce and then they just throw it under a broiler okay that let's wait let's look it up look it up she says it's an appetizer Okay, so this is the menu. All right. So appetizers, hummus, 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 17 types of hummus, potato, no. Uh, baked potato, this is it, I think. Okay. So mashed potato, cheese, mashed potato, cheese, and fungi sauce, which is just mushroom sauce. Okay, so we have um, 2.35 KD. Okay, I'm using a delivery site just to tally it. And just for some comparison, just so you know, um, one Kuwaiti dinar equals 4.46, and then it's extended out here, Canadian dollars. I think that's the easiest way to do it. One dinar, or as she calls it, KD, call it $4.50 Canadian, and then just do your math from there. That's the easiest way. To the US dollar, one Kuwaiti dinar is 3.25639 um, US dollars. So one KD, just call it 325. And if 325 is like, <laughs> if that starts to get hard, just, just, just call it $3. It'll give you like a really broad range of like about how much something is. And you don't have to, you know, her math is wrong. Cause she's like, oh, it's only $2. No, it's two dinar and two dinar, right? In 
Canadian, oops, in Canadian, is nine bucks, nine bucks Canadian. So she's like, oh, it's two, it's only two dollars. No, it's two dinar. That's nine dollars Canadian. <laughs> That's a big difference. That's huge. And then, of course, you can do it the other way. One Canadian dollar equals 22 cents Canadian, um, 22 cents Kuwaiti dinar. So she keeps saying how strong the dollar is there. It's not, it's not at all. Let's go back to one, make it easier. So one Kuwaiti dinar, 325 US. One US dollar is 30 cents Kuwaiti. Let that soak in. <laughs> oh, and I heard her saying, oh, your money will go really far here in Kuwait. No, it won't. And she's, I don't know why she's not fine. She'll find out sooner or later. Things, things are going to run low real quick. She keeps saying how cheap everything is. It's not. No. Nope. All right. It was so delicious. Perfect first course or appetizer to come before the meal. Yum. They also serve baskets of fresh pita type bread. Aish, aish. I lost my touch, honestly, with my accent. Aish, I'll, I'll get it back when I'm practicing with you guys. Aish, <laughs> it's not aish, it's aish. <laughs> like Aisha in her chat. It's aish without the A on the end. Bread. And bread like this, I don't know what they call it in Kuwait, but in Egypt, it's Aish Baladi. It's uh, country bread. Like it's so easy to make. It's, it's very, it, that's why it's always so fresh. And it is always fresh at restaurants. It just, it comes out hot even. And there's probably one person back there making all this bread. They just pump it out. So um, she's calling it pita bread. Not surprising. <laughs> Ooh. And the bread is complimentary. You don't pay for that. All right. Nice. They ordered a lot of food. Okay, so we have tabula salad. We have fatouche salad. This is my favorite salad. It's Lebanese. This is a Lebanese salad. Um, tabula is Lebanese. All right, so let's tally it up. So we're still on appetizers. So we want tabula appetizers. All right. Or it might be under salad. All right, here's the fatouche. Lettuce, bakle. I'm not sure what that is. Um, and there's a certain spice that they sprinkle on it that really makes a difference. Mino, cucumber, radish, roca, which is just um, uh, watercress. They call it rocket or roca. It's watercress. Onion, olive oil, salt, and lemon. But... I mean, they forgot the most important part, the croutons. <laughs> That's what makes a patouche salad. Those are like fried bread strips. And usually like they're kind of like in large squares, pretty much. All right. So we have fatouche. I don't think this one had halloumi. This is just cheese. Ah, like halloumi instead of the croutons. Take a look. Uh, no, that's, those are just the croutons. Okay. So we'll add that on to our order. Okay. Fatouche. All right. And we have tabula. Okay. Parsley, tomato, onion, bulgur, <laughs> olive oil. I used to eat this as a kid. I'm not Middle Eastern, by the way. I used to eat this as a kid all the time. And this is just, uh, the, the bulgur is just, uh, like, <laughs> vulgar like an american would say like i used to say it's just uh it's like a it's a grain essentially you can't even see it in here and it's mixed with a ton of parsley fresh lemon juice so fresh um tomato olive oil yeah and uh yeah my uh my family would eat it with lettuce leaves like this but of course you can eat it with uh with the aish Okay. Next up, we have some hummus, some tabbouleh. 
Okay, it's just hummus. All right. So let's add that on. Okay. And they have two bowls of that. Okay. And some fatouche salad. Is that a plastic glass? Is that a plastic cup? Is this? Is that hummus? What is this? Is that more of the potato? God, I hope so. If that's hummus, that's a lot. Okay. So Salah and I both ordered this mojito, strawberry mojito, non-alcoholic, of course. It was actually really... What's going on over here? What's going on over here? My apologies. Uh, I'm going to have to um, put like a mosaic or a blur over this, um, over this lady here. She clearly doesn't want to be filmed. And uh, Salah is just, he's got his camera out, I guess. Because you got to make that money, honey, right? Okay. Very refreshing and delicious. I mean, she's peeking over at the camera. So it's not like she has her hand up for another reason. Okay. And we have the manager over here. That guy's over here. This poor lady has her hand up. You can see here, this is uh, this is uh, shisha. This is a hookah. And it's very common to have this after dinner. It's very common. So she has her hand up. Okay. Non-alcoholic, of course. Yep, the person she's with, most likely a male, is um, because mostly males smoke shisha in public. Women smoke shisha too, but we typically do it at home. <laughs> or if you're at... Uh, an informal cafe with a bunch of friends then women smoke shisha but in a in an establishment like this i mean i if i were here if i were here if i were here i would i would smoke it <laughs> this isn't like super fancy to me like i would never problem smoking shisha here but keep in mind too i'm a foreigner so you know kuwaiti nationals might have a I'm sure of a very different standard. It's actually really refreshing and delicious. Wow. Yeah. She's like, I'm not going to show you, but like, she's like looking with one eye at Salah with him with the camera or her. Wait a minute. Is Salah even filming this? Maybe she's filming this because look at the weird angle she's at. It's like she's got her arm stretched out all the way over here with like holding out the phone, not really filming herself. She's making sure to get the background in. This is ignorant if that's what she's doing. Yes. And now I wanted to see how she was drinking through the straw. Delicious. Okay. Has she always drunk through a um, straw? like this, like to the side? Or is this something new? I'm curious. And now the food has arrived. Yep, those were just the appetizers. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have mixed grill. All right, that's it so far. So they got a lot on here. They got shish tawuk. This is like a grilled onion, tomato, <laughs> quesadilla. <laughs> um, this looks like lamb. This is kofta. Let's see what she says. Getting a mixed grill, which comes with a kebab and shish tauk, rice, and some garlic sauce. And rice? What? I gotta listen to that at real time. What was that? And now the food has arrived. 
We ended up getting a mixed grill, which comes with a kebab and shish tauk, a rice, and some garlic sauce as well. What's that, rice? What's that? What is that? What is she talking about? All right, okay. I'll never know. <laughs> Okay, so let's go to a mixed grill. Okay, six meat kebab, three shish tawuk, three meat tikka, three chops, and two bread. Oh, two bread arayas. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that one up. That's new for me. Okay. Huh? All right, it's 11.95. So let's use what we've learned. This is how this is how we retain because this was this took some time for me to learn. But, you know, if we all pick it up together and uh, then we can convert it like you can be in her chat saying like, no, that's that meant this is that's this much Canadian. Not what you just said. You can call her right out, you know, if we learn it. OK, so the mix grill tray, eleven ninety five Kuwaiti dinar. So. Let's go to Canadian because that's what we're going to be calling her out for the Canadian dollar. Okay. So one Kuwaiti dinar is 450 Canadian. And it's 1190. Let's call it 12. Okay. Now 12 times 450, you know, I don't know. So let's round it up to five, five times 12. 60 60 canadian dollars so let's actually do the real conversion all the way out so you know you can just round and yeah it's not too far off and the price of the um kuwaiti dinar and the um Uh, the conversion to the do the Canadian dollar is going to vary. It's going to go up and down slightly each day. So, eleven ninety five Kuwaiti is going to be um, about fifty fifty three dollars thirty eight cents Canadian. That's for that tray of food. U S. That mixed grill tray is about forty bucks. <laughs> Your dollar will really go a long way. $38.91. Yeah. 40 bucks for this. Okay. Hey, it's our money, right? Okay. So this is 40. Okay. What else did you get? Oh, the oh, garlic very sauce. Delicious. The garlic sauce is like, this is nominal. Like the, uh, yeah, that's nominal. Wow. Oh my God. What the hell? What the hell? Who's filming? Look at this poor lady. Chantal, you are adding a lot to my editing. I have to blur people out. People clearly don't want to be filmed. Okay, so this lady, like, Salah looks dead in the eyes, okay? Chantal's looking at, like, something else. Oh, this is different, right? So she was sipping through the straw from the side of her mouth before. Now it's, like, directly in the middle. And I don't know if which happened first. But uh, if he were really her husband, he would advise her not to sip her straw like that. I know it sounds so dumb. I know it sounds dumb. So I wonder when he told her or if he did. Because it's so dumb. But I mean, you have to understand this is a cultural thing. You're not necessarily going to understand it. There's still stuff that I don't understand, but that I just had to accept. Because I was living there. You know, you can't change a whole culture to fit your culture you are an, in their country <laughs> so you can't say that's dumb i'm gonna do it my way you can have a very tough time 
if you try to impose your culture onto another with that you're visiting you're the visitor so it's gonna sound silly it's gonna make no sense it's fine this is just the way it is i don't necessarily agree with it you know it's just the way it is now uh especially her being a white girl you know she's not arab she's uh you know clearly canadian like the sparkling water and um she's clearly a tourist she's clearly not from kuwait or even a surrounding country this is obvious to everyone okay some <laughs> some people especially of the male gender in in this culture okay this isn't to put the men down this is just this is just the way it is may perceive her as being a little bit loose because of the way she's drinking through this straw i know i know but this is just the way it is she's white she's here with an arab she's clearly a visitor and this where okay where women are fully covered most women are covered even if like even if um, women are not super conservative like there no one no woman is going to be in here wearing shorts and a tank top period it doesn't matter like t- tourist or not she's not going to be so men don't see a lot of skin they don't necessarily see a lot of uh you know red lipstick <laughs> and so very subtle signs can be um, viewed as more overt to them than they would be here i mean here in the western world you know you can you can walk around in the summer in you know spaghetti straps you know with a push-up bra booty shorts with red lipstick and barely get noticed (laughs) you know so it's a different culture her sitting here with the red lipstick with the straw in the middle of her lips like that is going to remind some men of her sucking dick and sorry to be so blunt but that is what she that's how it's going to be perceived and there's no way there's believe this isn't chantal's fault there's no way she would ever know that i was in a restaurant smoking shisha like i would normally in the middle of my lips and uh, I had a partner when I was there and he was like, uh, can you, you know, just move that to the side of your mouth? And I was like, what? Why? Why? Huh? <laughs> he was like, it, it's going to, it reminds, it might remind some men of like, you know, of that. Because no woman sucks dick in the side of her mouth. Sorry for the profanity. If you're offended, I apologize. There's going to be more of that on this channel, you know? So if he were truly her husband he would have warned her about that try not to drink your straw through your straw like that and if he were really a masculine male this straw would not be in the cup but back to this poor lady over here she knows she's being filmed she's holding her hand up like oh my god please and she looks wow and she looks up directly at the camera and now she's completely covering her face completely this is terrible who's filming and i'll bet the person filming in reality it's probably salaf's real wife because here's the phone this is a better um brand of water than what they were drinking before at the indian fusion restaurant so this is the person's phone um that's dining with them it's probably salaf's real wife and if she's filming you know with that one these women that get caught in the background she's probably telling chantal be sure to blur out their faces before you post this and she was probably like oh yeah of course of course you know And she starts laughing 
why we don't know and he's just like what are you laughing at God, so awkward what was she laughing at The idea is you dip the meat inside of the garlic sauce. Oh my God, the idea. She's going to tell us how to eat now? Well, tell us what the idea is, please. And it's so tasty. Mm -hmm. The ambiance was so nice at this place. These were like open windows, so you feel the night breeze coming through. I would hate that. And I don't know how it is in Kuwait. I don't. I've never been there. Um, if this were the case in North Africa, I would have to wear bug spray to go to this restaurant. I would be eaten alive by mosquitoes. So this place was also a shisha cafe, like a lot of restaurants in Kuwait, and probably in the Middle East as well in general. It's very common for people to relax. And that is so... Cringe. Wait, are we still in 4K? How are we in 4K and it's so grainy? What? Huh. Okay. And probably in the Middle East as well, in general, it's very common for people to relax and just smoke shisha and hang out. And oh, it's so cringe. So, uh... There, there's a woman over here smoking. There's two women over here smoking shisha. I'm gonna blur them out, but so it's not that formal. It's it's just not a. If they're trying to make this sound like it's uh like it's a really expensive top notch place, I mean it's nicely like decorated, but it's not. If they're trying to make it sound super fancy, it's not. This is so cringe. The way she's leaning in. Ugh. Like, I want to be seen with this man. That's what it says. It doesn't say, I'm out to dinner with my husband. So do you see how he's holding, um, how he's holding it right between the lips? This is normal for a guy. But uh, I don't know if she'll, I wonder if she'll smoke it. And socialize. So this is just to show you a bit what the shisha looks like here. Mm -hmm. So I found... That keychain. <laughs> uh, this is a new channel. However, I've been debunking wall cows for some time now. So this is just kind of what I do. If you think it's weird, I apologize, but I'm not going to stop. Okay. Because it's important. It's important. And uh, if you've dealt with wall cows in the past, you know why it's important. Because they hurt a lot of people. They hurt a lot of people. Okay, so here's the keychain here. And so this is the company name. So the whole point of me doing that is to show you that the person that went to dinner with Salah and Chantel probably works for that company. They have a keychain from that company. There's their wallet. Mixed with flavor and molasses and it's very mild. The seating was very comfortable for me. Lots of pillows that Salah put in the back of me, so I was comfortable. I love him so much. So after our company left, we decided to stay behind and just hang out, just the two of us. This is awkward. This is so awkward. It's almost like they're filming a commercial. Like, all of us know that this isn't real, but we're pretending. Like, she's just a bad actress. Yeah, that's a plastic cup, okay? Us for a little and really there's nothing wrong with eating at a regular restaurant i'm not being judgmental about that whatsoever whatsoever but i thought that i heard at some point maybe in like another video that she was saying like this was like some fancy place i guess today is a family day so we gotta go to a luxury syrian lebanese restaurant inshallah bit oh tvs on constantly is a thing that's a thing huge tvs everywhere on all the time and there's probably no volume playing <laughs> mm -hmm. i have tried shisha i love the flavor it's very smooth compared to tobacco and the feeling is very relaxing also did you see the manager 
behind the smoke. He's like looking right at them and Salah sees it. Salah has an eagle eye. Don't let him fool you. This is the manager right here. They've already probably received complaints. And the feeling is very relaxing. Also, the restaurant had all those open windows, so the area was very well ventilated. All right, I know some of you find it weird that I show you guys bathrooms, but the... I, I don't find it weird. I filmed a bathroom I was in once because it's it was unlike anything I've ever seen in my life. I don't think it's that weird. Bathrooms are so fancy and I could never get over it. Like, look at these private stalls with these whole private doors. Nobody peeking through the cracks in these, if you know what I mean. And, you and what's the operative word there, Chantal? Private. Private. People want to be private. Private. Stop filming people in public. Private. Private. <laughs> you have the toilet here. And oh, let me show you this because she's not explaining anything. She's like, and here's the toilet. And then people are like, well, how do you use that? What is that? All right. So obviously the toilet. <laughs> and it might look a little bit different, you know. Um, this is where you flush up here. And the left one would be if you only went number one. And you can probably press both together if you went number two. So it's just um, it's a difference in water flow that you get. This is the hose, and it is like a sink sprayer. And uh, that some places have the bidet that is right beneath you that comes out. Um, sometimes you press a button. Sometimes it's just already there. And um, but some places have the hose. It just depends. And that's why this drain is here. So if you do get a little wild with the spraying, you know, it's just going to go down here. And there are probably restroom attendants that come around with, and squeegees are a thing. They'll come around with squeegees to push all the water down that comes like from everywhere. If you know what I mean. And you have the toilet here and the bidet. And yeah, I mean, the bidet is everything as I've always said. And another mirror to look at myself in and show you guys. It's not really a bidet though. It's just, a, it's a hose, it's a sprayer. I don't know if she's going to show you what a real, what an actual bidet. I mean, I have one in my toilet in the States. So, I mean, you can get them here too. <laughs> yeah, selfie time. Here's just another full shot of the restaurant. Looks very nice and fancy. There's some leftovers. I'm just waiting for Salah. So I'll sit on this couch here and wait for him. There's a lot of gorgeous seating areas in this restaurant and very comfortable as well. Hi guys, how are you doing? What's up? <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video, coming with us on this date night. It was a wonderful evening with family and I think we're gonna rate the food now. So you go first, honey. Actually, I really enjoyed this family day um, with my beautiful wife in this uh, fancy restaurant. And I would rate this restaurant uh, for the food taste and for the customer service, actually, 10 out of 10. Yes. Honestly, I would say so. The customer service was amazing. Uh, just everything, like the way they wait on you and then also the food was amazing. Our mojito cocktails were so refreshing and the food was delicious delicious so delicious exactly and you Fresh. can see how how comfortable there's so much sitting area the ambiance is great so great place to come yeah seriously guys i recommend it uh, so much this restaurant is perfect yes <laughs> all right so we're gonna head home now so baby should we let's go yes baby should we <laughs> so weird so he said it's a fancy restaurant so that tells me a little bit about salah and it's a nice place i'm not saying it's not you know but like kuwait has you know you can really go upscale um so i just want to comment a little bit on chantal's um hijab now this is uh, this is very um you know she's learning still but she has all the time in the world to practice different tying techniques to 
practice with different types of hijab, different types of scarves. Um, because even if you just wanted to wear black all the time, you could wrap this differently that it would be far more flattering to your face. This is like coming down like a hood kind of, and you know, this is without a filter. You know, um, I don't know. And it's, you know, it's hard to get the hang of at first. But this pin isn't needed at all. This one is. Probably one on the other side. And then tucking it in really isn't necessary. So if she, if she had, you know, it's just, there's a lot more she could be doing here with the hijab. And I would think if you, if you were truly into studying the religion and everything that goes along with that, like the beliefs, the pillars, and you were just kind of throwing on to cover your hair, I would understand that. Like, oh, I'm not so much into the looks, like I'm really, you know, going in like deep with my heart and my mind. So I'm not really concerned about my looks. I just, I know I need to cover. But um, this is, I know that that's probably not the case with her. So I'm not sure why she's not spending more time working on her hijab styles. Let's go. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Bye, guys. Hey guys, so on behalf of Salah and I, we just want to- On behalf of Salah and I, thank you so much for watching our videos. It really, really means a lot to us. Your viewership is everything. And without you guys enjoying our videos, we really wouldn't have much reason to make them. The goal of this channel is to be a positive space to show you Kuwait together and parts of our lives as a married couple. We will be having a lot of content coming up soon, including the much awaited uh, grand reveal of our new apartment that we're in the midst of getting ready for Ramadan. And I will also be sharing these experiences with you on this channel, as well as on the Foodie Beauty channel. So please check that out if you're not subscribed to that channel as well. And again, we thank you so much for your viewership and for being here. Bye. Like why the grainy photo if you have uh, if you bought a thousand dollar plus phone so that you can film in 4k why the grainy photo okay so let's tally up our order so we have the baked potato the fatouche tabula two bowls of hummus the garlic sauce it really isn't much at all um and mixed grilled tray okay so we have a total of 1915 Kuwaiti dinar. Let's round it up to 20. And, you know, we got to practice it so that we can call her out, like, as it happens. <laughs> I'm going to help you. Okay, so we're going to round that up to 20. And the conversion to Canadian is 450. Okay, so 20 times 450. Let's just say 20 times 5. 100, right? So let's bring this over here and let's do it for real. So we've got 1915 Kuwaiti dinar for, and that's not including tax. The tipping isn't like it is in the States. So there isn't going to be a lot of tipping. He would tip the shisha guy um, for sure. He would, he would leave a tip for the wait for the server, but it's not the same as it in the States. It's not like 20% or anything. It's considered included in, because they, they pay the staff. They pay the staff. It's not like, like, oh, we're going to give you nickels and then you work for your tips like it is in the States. It's not like that. So 1915, 1915 Kuwaiti dinar for their dinner is $85.62 Canadian. 85 bucks. Now, I don't know what the tax rate is there. You know, we can look at that another day, but this is just like, just for the food, $85. And I'm curious if she'll say it was very affordable. I'm curious. Now for our US friends, like myself, um, we're looking at $62 US, $62.39 US for that meal. You know, uh, you know, whatever you think of that is what you think of that, <laughs> you know? So let's see what else they didn't seem, oh, we didn't add the drinks, the juices. I don't see the drinks. Oh, Diet Coke, by the way, is Coca-Cola light. <laughs> Sprite light. So let's add on, we'll just add on two orange juices. 
So now we're up to 2185 dinar. Because those mojitos aren't listed on the menu. So 2185. And this is just xe.com. If you want to just like pull it up anytime to use. 2185 dinar is $71 US. And Canadian, it is ninety-seven seventy-five. Yeah, about a hundred bucks. Hundred bucks uh, Canadian. So that's what they spent on that. Oh, a buy shopping. Oh, we should watch that tomorrow. Okay, stay tuned for that. All right, everybody. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, please like the video please subscribe if you do want to see more and don't forget to turn on notifications not only to hit the bell like this for all but also to turn on push notifications on your phone for youtube so when i post when anyone you're following and you have notifications enabled when they post you'll get a pop-up on your phone if that's what you want if you don't don't do it so, all right have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.